Disclaimer! Warning! I do not have a Patreon, Discord Premium, or any pay service where you are asked to pay for reactions, or whatever. If I don't mention it in my videos, then I don't have one. These links you are clicking asking for money, you're getting scammed. So this guy, um, he went from 155 to 352 pounds. I heard about this guy, Nico Cado Avocado. All I know from him is that he eats a lot of food and just uses, all he does is does video of him eating food. And that kind of, I know it makes him famous and all, but. It's kind of bad on his part that he would risk his health just to eat on camera. But hey, he's doing him, so whatever. So this is video is by Sunny V2, the tragic transformation of Nico Cado Avocado from 155 to 352 pounds. Let's do this. Am I going to see so this guy? So without further ado, let's make some mac and cheese. Am I going to see this guy on my 600-pound life one day? Because 155 to 352, oh, Jesus Christ. Jeez, here we go. I have gained weight, and I don't even know why. You guys know my weight's been spiraling out of control. Because my life is a disaster. There's no cure. This bleeds right in your brain. I miss the old Nick. Yada yada yada. There's no cure. Bro, you can just stop eating all this stuff on camera. I don't under okay, what what? Yada yada Nico Cado Avocado. Sorry, how do you say his Approximately name? Approximately two weeks ago, while sitting in his $2.3 million penthouse apartment, Nico Cado Avocado would upload a video. 2.3 million. Oh my God, I am doing something wrong. I should be doing eating food challenges if I get that. Ah. <laughs> Yo, weighing himself to his channel with over 2.5 million subscribers. 352. I think not. His weight of 352 pounds is in stark contrast to his beginning weight of between 150 and 160 pounds. When I started mukbangs, I was 150 pounds, maybe 160. Can't really remember. When he was a modest vegan living a fairly simple life in vegan. Colombia. He'd moved there way back in 2014 after meeting his then boyfriend Orlin in a vegan Facebook group for men. But problematically, Nikocado Avocado didn't have much to do in Colombia. So he began to upload videos of himself to the YouTube website, playing violin and discussing the many aspects of veganism. This is my first ever mukbang. What's mukbang. a mukbang? Mukbang. I actually don't know how to pronounce it, but anyway. Okay, can someone um, explain to me what a mukbang is? To becoming a vegan. Oh, he considered later. himself oh, somewhat it. overweight. Most people that watch my channel know that I'm vegan. I've been vegan for almost four years. Like another month or two would be like four year mark. Totally changed my life. I used to be obeso. I used to be like, what? Like this. While it was certainly a benefit that veganism helped Nick Ricardo lose weight and was assisting him in staying thin, as he continued to maintain the vegan diet, it would go from a blessing to a curse. Yeah. I rotted a tooth. I had low B12, B12 deficiency. I developed hypoglycemia. I don't know if it's directly related to the veganism, but I never had that before. At a later date, Nikocado explained that being vegan had resulted in numerous immediate health issues. In addition to this, Nikocado explained that he found the 2016 online vegan community to be extremely toxic. Why do vegans have to make everything about veganism? Why? There's there are so much weird more bunch. To there are weird and bunch. as a result, he ended up renouncing his vegan status and leaving the community of vegan YouTubers. No other community have I ever seen minutes, like this. I'm explaining I thought it was okay. all vegans, but it's just vegans in general on YouTube. 
I gotta leave you guys. After a one month break, the first of many non-vegan mukbang videos would show up on the Nikocado Avocado channel. And while he had made the decision to begin eating meat, he would still maintain a relatively clean diet, often inclusive of vegetables and rice. One red onion, carrots, minus that green one, which we don't use. Broccoli, cauliflower, fresh peas. Nikocado Avocado stuck out like a sore thumb as a mukbanger because in the beginning, the video type was almost entirely dominated by females. Additionally, Nikocado would almost always have his pet parrot sit on his shoulder while he ate, the absurdity of which assisting him in standing out from the crowd. When discussing his first mukbang video, Nikocado Avocado would state, my very first mukbang got like 50,000 views in a couple of weeks, which was a lot for me at the time. And everyone was asking, when's the next mukbang? Which ultimately and resulted in the started. continuation of the series. However, as mukbangs became the dominant video type on his channel, his weight would begin to steadily increase. In The Psychology of Mukbang Watching published in January 2020, the study found that the a viewer's vicarious pleasure demanded a large quantity of unhealthy food to be consumed. And from a relatively uninformed outsider's perspective, the meta seems to be the bigger the better. No one wants to spend two minutes watching someone eat a bowl of cereal. The most popular videos Some go for like more than half that. an hour There's and always a, ridiculously oversized portions. Always a portion the reason for which being anything. because it creates connection and possibly even a guilt-free environment seeing other people eat very large portions of unhealthy food messily and open to public. For this reason, Nikocado Avocado began to eat Nikocado. more Okay. More in every single video yeah, posted God to damn, the channel. God damn, that's There's a lot of food. There's here. We're going to see how many we can eat, so... Here we go. Let's start. Let's yes. start. In addition to this, he would begin to swap out many of the clean, relatively healthy meals in exchange for fast food. Seen in examples such as ex-vegan eats burger for the first time in 10 years, which was followed by three other fast food mukbangs and a 10,000 calorie challenge. Seven months after switching oh, to full-time yeah. mukbang videos, Nikocado Avocado seemed to naively believe that he had maintained his original weight of 160 pounds. However, while doing a mukbang at the Heart Attack Grill in Las Vegas, Nikocado oh. Avocado would step on their skin. The heart attack grill. Uh, I heard of that. Oh my god. Uh, that place pisses me off. Like, oh my god, the fact that you have to sign a waiver not to sue them for your family if you die. Okay, it's up to them if they go to the heart attack grill and just eat whatever. But god damn, I know I'm a big guy, but I would never. Okay, I would go to a heart attack grill. Just, I don't know, but one time, just for one time, but goddamn, the heart attack grill. At which point he would be confronted with reality. So let's see how much I weigh. I don't even know. I think 160, maybe 160. Weigh yourself here. So we're going to step right up. That has to be wrong. You guys, I'm 200 pounds. <laughs> When revisiting the article discussing the psychology of mukbang watching, the authors also claim that mukbang videos affect viewers' perception of food consumption and thinness because mukbangers who are very thin and slim consumed very large portions of food and did not gain weight, which is without a doubt the spell that Nikocado Avocado had found himself under. Being a naturally skinny guy who had seen others doing large mukbangs without gaining any weight might have convinced him that he was immune to growing his very own large- If he watched a lot of epic mealtime with muscle glasses and saw him and go, hey, I can do that. But muscle glasses works out and exercises after he eats all that shit. He's a trained... Oh, God, he... That's his job, to train people in the gym and be physically fit. Yeah, he would eat all that stuff, but he would, like, work the fuck out after a while. After right away, but yeah, okay. Be a belly. But when you're at the point of eating 10,000 calorie meals for your channel, your quote unquote That's fast a lot metabolism of diabetes. isn't going to be there to save you. The problem was that rather than seeing this as a genuine issue and an indication that he might want to slow down on the insane portion sizes, Nikocado Avocado would simply integrate it into his content with the goal of gaining more views. He would upload two videos shortly after becoming conscious of his weight, stating, I'm getting fat and I don't know why, as well as say hello to my double chin, where he would unironically state that he thought it was just stress or water weight and that food wasn't the problem. I'm hoping, I'm praying that this is just water weight. That this is water weight and it comes off in like a week. That's a lot of That's salt. Just not being so stressed because stress Plus is a our lot number of one killer. And sodium, yeah. That's not our number one killer. Chips, no. 
Our number one killer is stress. Also believing that his weight gain was some kind of medical mystery. There is a medical mystery going on. There is something chemically imbalanced in me. I should probably go get my thyroid checked. Which were both pathetic justifications for the reality, being that he was simply eating too much food. Nikocado Avocado concluded the video by stating, You better enjoy it while it lasts, because I tell you, it will not last. I... I'm gonna find a way to lose this weight. However, with the same diet, the mindset that it was stress or water weight or a medical mystery, and yet another 10,000 calorie challenge only three videos later, obviously the weight gain continued. But it oh, wasn't yeah. only his weight that was causing Look him at all that. problems. Nikocado Avocado would upload a video simply titled, I'm too scared to go to the hospital, which in true nature of the 2017 YouTube algorithm would gain a whopping 21 million views. Not only did this video further assist in making Nikocado Avocado somewhat of a household name, but it also it showed- did? the drama and the talking whole, about well, subjects yeah. other than mukbanging would still garner an audience as long as they involve drama. Nikocado would this create a playlist or channel subsection literally titled Upset Feelings, where dramatic videos displaying the apparent problems he was having, such as specific arguments with his boyfriend, often gained substantial view counts. Nikocado Avocado uploaded videos such as What My Husband Did To Me and I'm Getting Deported, stating later that whenever he found himself in a bad mood, his first natural inclination was to grab the camera. Everyone already hates me or I'm already dramatic let me just grab the camera and just like film it so some of them are like really really real for me filming his low points became a regular occurrence on the nikocado avocado channel which unfortunately filming yourself about everything is not a good idea because then people just want to see the train wreck of your life yeah of course like you put everything on camera people are going to watch just to see what the hell is happening next but dude, you can't just film every single detail of your life and whatever happens. Included his continual weight I'm just gain. Saying. 12 months had passed since his last 206 pound weigh in at the Heart Attack Grill, but it was visually clear that he was now That's substantially heavier. Disgusting. So, when asked about his weight in a mukbang QA, the result was certainly anticipated. How much do you weigh now? Well, do you want to go? Should I weigh myself in front of you? I'm going to go get the scale. Last time I checked, it was like. 268, it was almost 270, pretty much. 268 pounds. Nikocado Avocado was 110 pounds heavier than he had been at the start, a weight gain equivalent to the size of an average adult leopard. If he were to add another 50 pounds to that, his body weight would have doubled since the beginning. However, Nikocado was positive that he would never cross the 300 pound mark, and if he did, he guaranteed everyone that he would officially make a change. I, I, I don't think I will ever be three, 300. If I am, Trust me, we're gonna make major changes. However, Nikocado Avocado hadn't changed his eating habits whatsoever okay. and would simply continue eating larger and larger quantities, oh God, justifying his that? awful diet and overeating by stating that his body had some arbitrary stopping point where he apparently knew when he was eating too much. My body seems it's to called getting full. The amount I do. You're when you're full, you can't it's stop a very eating. strong stopping point. You can't and if eat I anymore. Overstuff, I noticed I don't get hungry until later in the next day. Which was obviously once again just another lie he told himself to deal with the reality of his own situation. To assist with his mukbangs as his weight grew, Nikocado Avocado would also purchase a chair rated to hold a person who weighed up to 400 pounds. I got the, the chair for 400 pound people because I said, okay, it's going to hold, if it's holding up big people, it's going to hold... Me up, definitely. And Nikocado Avocado was certainly going to need this seat, as less than 12 months after claiming he'd never get to 300 pounds, he'd upload a video titled, I'm 299.9 pounds, will I finally reach 300 after this meal? This is video not your, only showed that your all goal Nikocado to reach Avocado's okay. previous right. claims about water weight, stress, diets, understanding his body, etc, etc, were- What in the fuck is this mon- Is that a hot dog? That's a hot dog, but what the fuck is this monstrosity? Sonic? I don't have Sonic here in Canada. What the hell is this? What the fuck is that? That's a big ass burger! Were completely wrong, but it also revealed a much darker reality. He had accepted his size and saw his he weight ate as all a of joke, it. even going so far as to say that he now wanted to hit- Big as that burger! Pounds. What? Why am I losing weight? Why can't I hit 300? In the process, Why Nikocado can't you Avocado had done the actual calculations on how long it would Dude, take for him to you're get to fucking weight. die. Just, how long is it going to take me to lose my weight? If I have to lose... What the fuck is this? Is that all cheddar cheese? It's taco from... Ta what the fuck are you serving at Taco Bell that has this? What the fuck is that shit? What the hell? Oh, you look, he has tomatoes. Or is that sausage? That's tomato. At least he's eating healthy. <laughs> is 120 pounds. 
and I have to do five pounds a month. Let's do 120 divided by five. How many? Uh, <laughs> two years? That's 24. I have to lose weight for two years. Yeah. I'm just not gonna do it. How about that? <laughs> Die, you're, gonna, you're gonna die Concluding that he had passed a point of no return, and it was better for him to embrace his weight for the views oh. as opposed to going to the effort of losing it. I'm that. Better for him to embrace Wait, his weight. Wait, hold on. I feel so much better. <laughs> Concluding that he had passed a point of no return. That is fucking disgusting. Return, and it was better for him to embrace his weight for the views as oh. opposed to going to the effort of losing it. I'm that, and I don't care anymore. I want to get to 300, and then 400, and then 500, and then 600. I'm in the one that's just like, who cares now? Too late. I ain't going back. Seriously, this, this guy's gonna. Cause you are seriously gonna be on one on my six hundred pound life one day. You're gonna die on camera. Uh, this is just sad, bro. This is just really, really sad. This relationship. Discrimination. No one discriminates that thing. Out my way, peasant. So what's next? The car's fat phobic. Is the car fat phobic? I put it. I. I shh. In an interview with Men's Health, Nick Hikaru explained that, unsurprisingly, his sex life had taken a hit after becoming a mukbanger. Additionally, the amount of videos in which Nick Hikaru and Orlan argued or broke up or fought publicly increased substantially. You're the worst thing that ever happened to me. That's okay with me. I'll Even his boyfriend ate the thing? I thought it was just Nico. He used to be so happy. So he got his boyfriend really fat too. It was such a mistake. However, despite the monstrous weight gain and crumbling relationship, it was likely difficult to change his behavior as, from a financial perspective, his bank account was skyrocketing. You know, I sit up here in my tower and watch everyone struggle and be poor. It's so entertaining. I love watching poor people. They struggle. Oh, I just need popcorn. I could sit here and watch them struggle all day. Nikocado Avocado would announce that he had purchased a $2.3 million penthouse apartment in Las Vegas after adding yet another 50 pounds. Purchased a $2.3 I just need popcorn. I could sit here and watch them struggle all day. Nick Carter. You're an asshole, you know that? Watching people struggle every day. That's not a fun thing to do, man. That's a hard life of doing stuff when you're like, don't have the money that you have. Fuck this guy. Avocado would announce that he'd purchased a $2.3 million penthouse apartment in Las Vegas after adding yet another 50 pounds to his body weight. Finding chairs that could hold my size was such a nightmare because I'm 350 almost. <laughs> a comment on the video stating, enjoy your house bro, you got not much time left, perfectly encapsulates the conundrum of Nikocado Avocado. It sums up the dilemma that Nikocado Avocado has found himself in, being the exchange of health for money, or on an even deeper level, the exchange of health for meaning. Sure, Nikocado Avocado could quit doing mukbangs tomorrow. He'd probably lose a bunch of weight considering his weight gain is anchored to the work, but really, like, what's he gonna do? Go back to busking with a violin in New York City? It's not really realistic. Yet, equally unrealistic is the idea that he can continue to mukbang every day without it eventually resulting in something that would take him out of the game altogether. Okay, I can understand this guy is making money off mukbangs. Seriously, you can't tell me that this guy is seriously happy doing this. He, he is trapped in what he's doing. That's where the money comes from, getting fat and eating mukbangs. And he, and he wants to become 600 pounds and more. The guy is going to die one day on camera. Or he was going to wind up on my 600 pound life and wind up in a trailer. Like that one guy that would wind up in a trailer and can't get out. For him to say that he, I, he maybe have been joking, I think he was joking, that like, yeah, he loves watching poor people struggle. That's a dick thing to say. No, really, that's just a dick thing to say. I don't know what else to say about this, but this is like a tragic transformation of this guy. He's stuck. Like, now I understand about that, uh, what was that video from, uh, the guy who did the baby and, uh, the cartoon thing where he, uh, drew, uh, Nikado Akavocado and then he's trapped in his own thing and it's really sad. I get it now after watching this, but yeah. 
I don't know, man. This guy is gonna die one day. He's seriously gonna die one day. And uh, that's just depressed. Not depressing. That's just tragic. Anyway, that's it for now. Human donation. Human freak out. Bye. Pasito a pasito, suave suavecito. Nos vamos pegando poquito.